<clears throat> All right, guys. So once again, you're going to start on your um, the App Creator page. And in the last video up here, this App Creator's login, I just showed you how to log into everything get everything out. Now we're going to go into starting the app program. All right. So today we're under lesson one. Okay, so there's three lessons in this whole entire unit. We're under lesson one, more under activity one. So it's the first activity, all right? So get ready to go there, open that up, get that all rolling. And next we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna just click on this download, all right? We're gonna click on this. And that should just bring it up down there. Now, if it doesn't go there, you can just click on file and then save and make sure it goes to your downloads folder. Mine automatically did, yours might as well. We're going to read through this right here. It talks about computer scientists, mobile applications, computer science makers and innovators. Please watch the video. So right now, I'm going to suggest you pause the video and then watch the video. Okay, now that you've paused and watched the video, we're going to start to reflect on this. And one thing is, what are other technological advancements could you think to have changed around the world? All right, I'm sure we have a ton of these from sixth grade. All right, so keep those in the back of your mind. We've always innovated and invented as humans, and that's what allowed us to become the dominant species of the world. Number two, how have these advancements changed people's lives? So think of your quest for change expedition, your footprints expedition, all right, and the, even the progress dilemma expedition you've been part of. How have these technological advancements changed? And we're going to come back and refer to that when we create our final application using our guidelines from these, this unit, which is conflict drives innovation. We're going to be writing apps that explain these two questions. So I love that this unit starts out with that video. So just keep those in the back of your mind. Now we're going to open up MIT App Inventor. Okay, and it's going to say to create an app. And at this point, you're going to have to log in. Mine automatically logs in, okay? Because I've already done all this stuff and, and done that. You're going to have to log in with your Gmail account. If you don't have one, I've given one to you at this point. So either you're using your own Gmail account or you're using one of our classroom Gmail accounts. And if that is the case, you're just simply going to go in there and it's just going to save it. So basically, once this is open, you can X out of that first program and just have this building app. So this is actually one of our final ones. So I'm going to go into projects and I'm going to go to import and all this talks about all these steps one or two through five. Just talk about getting this app just set up. And so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go import from my computer and I'm going to choose a file. Okay. Now it's going to be my downloads file. Okay. And it's going to be right here. And I'm going to select that one. Now I might say it's already exists. You cannot create another project's name. Okay. So for you guys, it's going to come up. For me, I've already done that. So I'm actually going to go to my save projects, or my project, oops, my projects, and I'm going to find it. Mystery. Mystery app, right here. Okay. What if I download it again? Hold on just a second. Okay, because I've already done everything the project lead way the project lead way curriculum, it's kind of difficult for me to restart it. But notice that if you download it once, you always want to go back and use the one that you started with right here. Okay, and so then if you didn't, so I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna change this because you can't even have those parentheses in there. That would actually not make this run. And so I'm just using underscore there. So now that should allow me to open that one. So let's go back in here now. Projects, import from my computer. I'm going to choose a file name. I'm going to use the underscore one. And thank God it worked. Okay. So now this is all done. Okay. This is all the, exactly how you should be seeing it. All right. So once again, we're one through five. Now click OK in the project's name and the project's created the product page. All right. Notice you can type right in here. And I've already shown you this and started typing. And so I'm just going to delete that. So you, right now, you can go through and you can answer these questions. This whole entire lesson is just unpacking our interface right here so that we can start to work with it and you guys know what some of these things are. To understand the theory behind things, you have to first understand how it works. And so that's what we're going to be basically doing here. 
Now notice that on the page that you guys have, your one uh, worksheet for this, you only have answers questions 6, 9, and 22, and 23. Okay? That's it. And then I have to sign off to make sure you download the app to the emulator. All right. So there's four questions. I made it really easy. If you choose to go ahead and answer all the questions, that's great. That'll be there for your notes. But I'm only going to check those three questions. Now, you can answer the question right here. And this is what I'm going to do right now. So click on the drawer. Click on the other drawers in the pot. Palette. To see what other components are available in the App Inventor. In your own words, describe the functions of the palette and the viewer. Okay, let's go back up here. All right, and so here are some of the click on the functions here. And the viewer mode is this whole mode. This is the designer mode and the viewer. This is what you'd see in the, the app. If you actually had a physical app with you right now, and if I had a webcam, I'd show you my application that I have in my, my tablet right here. This would be what you'd see. These are the this is the coding behind your app. Okay, this is what tells the computer what to do. So right now you're in the designer phase and you're answering what is all, what's in all these drawers right here? What is it? Well, go back over here. You would look and you'd see all these boxes and checks. And these are, I would say, elements that you could bring in here. So you could type that right on here. Elements that you could bring in. Wow, late. And so I answer the question. Now you have a couple options at this point, all right? You can either just type that or write that on your worksheet, or if you'd like to, and do this on um, and do this on um, the computer. You can take a snipping tool. You can press this copy. Then you can go back into the worksheet right here, and you can click on this, and then you can press paste, and it should just replace it. So that's really a cool way to just answer the question that's in there, and it actually is a picture. All right, and so you can do that with everything that you have there. Oh. And you also have to delete the picture of the one that you don't want to delete. All right. So those are some options of how you can take care of this. Okay. These are also going to be outlined. All of these worksheets are going to be outlined right in your slot right here. So I'm going to have one Let's Create an App Lesson 1. I'm going to call this Login. Then I'm going to do another one, another one, another one. It's going to look very similar to the 7th grade page. You guys have all done this before in 7th grade. So you're very familiar with using the videos in the lessons go ahead and do this however this playlist or this personalized learning format will be using a reading a textbook for you to go ahead and get ahead all right so i expect many people to be done with the entire thing in a few days and some other people are going to take some some extra time all right activities one through six are required by everybody activity seven and eight are going to be the Extra, extra ones or the, the the challenge courses, okay? So these are the background knowledge. The other ones is applying your knowledge and really challenging yourself. So if you don't get to those, it's okay, but I'd love it if you would, all right? Then as a class, we're going to move on together to lesson number two and then lesson number three, all right? So once again, the only questions you actually have to answer here are questions six, questions nine, 22, and 23, all right? And once again, at the very end of this, you have to connect your app to the emulator, okay? And you do use, use the emulator by clicking here to connect Al Companion, and you could use the G co the G code right here, or you could use the QR code where you record it yourself, okay? So go ahead, and what I would do is I would click on each one of these, and if you're really having trouble, do this exactly how Project Blue has told you to do it. Ta drag the textbook out, that box out. So you're going to look for the textbook, and you're going to drag it out. So you're going to come back over here, you're going to click on the text box, and you're going to drag it out, just like that, all right? So follow the directions, okay? And at the very end of this, you'll see 
that it'll have a, a talk to how to, how to dis deploy this. At this point, you're going to ask for a, um, a tablet from me. I will give you a tablet, and it's going to show you exactly how to display your code, and then you're going to talk about some of these afterthoughts. All right? If you have any questions, please call me over. If you finish early, you can go ahead and finish the other apps, okay, and the other lessons. All right? So to, this is lesson one, drag and drop coding. Our learning target is I can identify elements of drag and drop coding and explain the function of each component. So today you're really on just working on learning the platform, understanding what the parts are and how to find the parts. All right. If you can do that today, you have met the learning target. However, if you're still confused, go back, ask a friend, try to figure out what each part is so that you can identify the parts of drag and drop coding so that you'll be able to solve problems later on in this unit. Good luck and ask me if you have any questions.